you know, the, the, the only real difference is, is that there's not a strong language barrier, you know. It was pretty open with with New Japan to talk, but the problem was um, I don't think they listened due to the language barrier, you know. They heard you, but they didn't quite listen and didn't take some of your ideas into play, and I think that's a big difference of why I, I'm so happy at Impact. I don't care whether they take what I say and utilize it. But as long as they hear it out and explain why they don't think that works and why they think what they're saying works, that's all I need. You know what I mean? Because then I, I start to get in the mindset, okay, you know what, that does work that way. So how do I help make it work that way? Instead of like, you're just doing this. Well, why? I don't. You're just doing that. And then you kind of, you know, when you're told to do something and not explained it, sometimes you're always back against the wall trying to, trying to fight it a little bit, trying to resist. Because, as I said, you, the only person that's going to look out for you is you. And I feel with Impact, it's a real team effort. And not that it wasn't in Japan. It's just a different team atmosphere than it was. You know, um, Everybody's a leader, and everybody's capable of, of giving some input, and everybody's capable of, of um, dispersing responsibility in the same book. And we also know that there's one person that has final say, and that's good. That, that's what wrestling needs. If there's too many people running around, they can just do whatever they want. It never leads to, to a good product. And I think that's where Impact set. And in the same token, you know, New Japan had that one final say, but I just feel that when you had ideas, they didn't get listened to. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, uh, were you surprised when you woke up this morning and saw the news that John Moxley had captured one of their titles overnight? No, no, not not at all. Actually, um, that was you know, um, I hate. I want to preface this and say that I'm not saying that anybody is better than the John Moxleys or Chris Jericho's. I'm not saying that they don't deserve the notoriety they're getting or to go into New Japan and get seated in huge matches right away because of their past and because of how many eyes they can put on the product. But New Japan has been a very like, oh, these are the new toys, let's play with them. So once I, I heard John Moxley was going, uh, I, I kind of was like, okay, well, I'm, I know what's going to happen type thing. So it wasn't really a shock uh, to wake up to that news. Okay, cool.